Investors will be looking for signals about future moves. Here with what he's expecting, we're joined by Dennis Lockhart, former president of the Atlanta Fed. It's great to see you again. Welcome. And uh, what's the significance of tomorrow's move, which is widely expected to be a pause? Yes, I agree. I think it's going to be a, a skip, perhaps not the ultimate pause, um, because there could be another rate increase at the November or the December meeting. Um, I think uh, the the committee is going to be weigh, weighing the question of whether they're reliably on a path to get to 2%. And if the feeling is it's, that that question is not clear, then in all likelihood, they'll hedge their bets. Probably we'll see some indication of another rate rise being possible. And the rhetoric will be, in, in some respects, inconclusive or and not signaling a strong direction. Do you look at uh, interest rates at these levels and scratch your head a bit? The last, you know, I'm making a lot of the last couple of days, but we're near kind of 15-year closing highs in our 10-year yield. Even in Germany, where they're more or less in recession, their yields are at their highest level since I think about 2011 or so. What do you think is going on here? Well, I think the longer term markets, which the Fed does not control, of course, it's simply market action that, dis that prices those uh, longer term maturities, um, is to some extent taking on board uh, the soft landing idea that uh, we're going to get through this and that rates can and should normalize. And we're going through a process now of normalization. We're still inverted, but uh, uh, the longer term rates have moved out. And I think that reflects a little bit more benign view of the future. A lot of people uh, keying off that word benign view of the future think that the Fed will begin reducing interest rates sometime in 2024. There were those who thought that by now the Fed would begin reducing interest rates. But let's 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 focus on 2024. Do you expect that the Fed by this time next year will have begun a pivot towards lower interest rates? Or do you expect the Fed to stay higher for longer to make sure that inflation is really crushed? I'll say two things that I think are, that you'll, you might take as contradictory. One is I expect that they'll stay higher for longer than many of the prognosticators believe that by second or third middle of the year, we'll, we'll see cuts. I think they'll probably hold the interest rate for a good part of the year. Having said that, I think the SEP the, that come out tomorrow, summary of economic projections, will show a decline in interest rates by year end. So mm -hmm. I think the transition will occur by year end. And I guess the third thing I should say is who knows? Uh, you know, we're trying to predict it. We're, we're trying to predict the future. It depends on how the the data evolve, and that you know, uh, that's a very tough uh, tough thing to pull off. Love the honesty. Thank you.